all stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. You know, I, every time I do that, I think about when I was an elementary principal and I would have children by classroom, each week a different class came up and said the Pledge of Allegiance. And it, um, up until about second, third grade, they all said with liberty and justice for all. And I thought, I really need to look that up. What is liberty, actually? So off we go. Welcome back. I uh, hope some of you that I'm surprised to see here. I hope you got some time away and did some fun things with your family, at least. Luke, you're looking like you worked all week. Jan brought me in every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a restful week. I had a restful week. Jan was gone. He can't <laughs> bring it I think you did have a to-do list, though, at home, didn't you? Oh, it's, it's still growing. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time of year. How about you, Jason? What was you, you girls, you and your girls took off? I went with my mother, and it was fantastic. Good, good. Um, that's good. Well, um, Purdue got beat, and we've been in mourning well, ever since. Hey, we've been in mourning ever since at our house. I have to leave and go to the bedroom and TikTok, so I don't have to listen to everything. So anyway, that's how I wrote it. All right. So to begin with, um, we have the minutes from the February twenty uh, seventh regular board meeting, and we also have the minutes from the March seventh uh, study session. Um, I assume all board members have had an opportunity to look through that. Any questions or concerns from the board regarding the minutes? Uh, in the February 27th ones, apparently a Mrs. Vanderweel presented the table. Okay, well, we can correct that. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Okay. Vanderweel was not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey, you know what? If that's the only mistake, you know. That's, that's all I said. <laughs> I'm just glad she spelled Vanderweel correctly because it took me months. All right. <laughs> Um, any questions from anybody else? Um, I would uh, I would entertain a motion to approve both of those minutes. So moved. Thank you, Jenny. Second. Thank you, Casey. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Oh, hi, Kyle. Raise your hand. I can't see it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All righty, and the motion carries seven to zero. All right, moving on. Next, we have the funds report, and we got an updated one uh, later in the day today. So, uh, you want to share that with us? Yes. Apologize. The uh, they squeezed uh, usual audit. Our our usual last about six weeks got squeezed into about three and a half. So, life in the office has been interesting. Um, so, I'll just go ahead and get going. The, uh, education fund in February, we had receipts of $1,034,631.11 and expenses of $866,920.91. Our cash balance at the end of February the education fund is $1,241,528.71. Debt service fund, we had receipts in February of $7,048.72. We had expenses of $750. Our cash balance in the debt service fund at the end of February is $877,621.15. <clears throat> in the operations fund, we had receipts of $17,558.63. Expenses of $493,232.37. Our cash balance at the end of February in the education fund is $391,213.61. Okay. Any questions about any of the funds? Uh, we will, uh, anything from anybody else? Okay, uh, I'll accept a motion to uh, accept the financial report as presented. So moved. Thank you, Mark. Two seconds. And Jenny. All right. All those in favor? 
Motion carries seven to zero. Yes. Thank you, Kyle. I don't know if I've seen you without a hat. It's been a while, dear. I just wasn't sure that was you for a minute. It's all right. <laughs> I'm like my dad without a hat. Okay. <laughs> okay. And next we have uh, claims. Todd, anything to share there? Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, I don't believe, for the month. Um, i just ask you to um, consider approval of the claims for February in the amount of $844,281.95. Okay. Any questions about claims? If, uh, if not, we'll accept a, a motion to uh, approve the claims as read. Thank you, Casey. Second. Thank you, Ethan. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Yes. Thank you, Kyle. All righty, and then we have um, payroll. Also, uh, March 20th, whoops, sorry, wrong, wrong line. Payroll for February 24th, 2023, and March 10th, 2023, totaling $1,010,055.25. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Any questions about payroll? <coughs> Any questions about payroll? Do we get that $3 figured out? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you find that $3 figured out? Yeah. Yeah. Did you find that $3 figured out? I was worried about that. The, the $3 that we talked about this morning. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Luckily. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Um, any questions about that? All right. Um, I'll accept a motion then that we approve payrolls as presented. So moved. Thank you, Ethan. Second. Thank you, Stephen. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Yes. Motion carries seven to zero. And then we move on to action items. Um, approval of the exception to the Wednesday rule for the Wizard of Oz rehearsals. So for those new to the board, we try on Wednesday evenings, especially at the elementary and middle school, to make sure that students are home early with families, try to limit athletic practices, events, um, those types of things. In this case, the Wizard of Oz is our uh, production this year, and it's a rather large cast and it requires the munchkins from the elementary schools. And so with that and uh, put that final push to uh, production time, um, asking for that Wednesday rule to be lifted on uh, two separate Wednesdays so that they can conclude that practice and get those munchkins in there. Any questions? Don't we have, how many munchkins are there, maybe 15? There's at least that many from Riddle and okay. plus Columbia, so there's a lot. There's little monkeys, too. Yeah. Oh, they're the monkeys, too? In the elementary and middle, it's probably about 30. Oh, fine. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> Looks like something I need to go to. Okay. Um, any questions uh, on uh, allowing our munchkins to practice on Wednesday nights? <laughs> okay, I will accept a motion. So moved. Thank you, Ethan. Second. And Casey. All those in favor? Yes. Motion carries seven to zero. I tried to get my munchkins in there, but they were all too busy with nine other things, so I couldn't get it done. And, and we think, when, huh? is, when is that production? When is the production? It is April 15th. April 15th. April 15th. Thank you. Yeah. And maybe in April 14th? and maybe April 16th if they decided to do the matinee. Perfect. That way, whoever listens. That's right. <laughs> Get your ticket. I just think it'll be fun, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay, the uh, next thing we have is the donations report. Uh, we have a field trip. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed the field trip. That was on the last one, okay. We have a field trip. Um, very exciting that uh, Joel Lau and his <coughs> engineering <coughs> class have been invited to attend the um, World Robotics Championships that will be in Austin, Texas. If I'm reading, Houston, pardon me. Houston, Texas. Uh, 15 students, uh, two adults, and uh, 
I think it's just an amazing thing that they were invited to go, and uh, I'd love to see them um, go on to a world scene like that. The, um, I had the opportunity to go to one of the World Robotics Championships for the kids in the elementary, and it was amazing. <clears throat> it was amazing to see all those kids working on the same project with the same tools and the same equipment um, come up with so many different things. It was just amazing. So I think they will learn tons from watching and seeing what other groups are doing in addition to being able to compete down there themselves. So any questions about that out-of-state field trip? If not, I will uh, accept a motion. So moved. Thank you, Mark. Second. Thank you. Mark and Ethan. And all those. Oh, Stephen, you guys sound like. What'd you do to your head, Stephen? You should see the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> you just raised up and hit something, didn't you? It happens. Gravity has its effects. I know. <laughs> Wait till you're my age, it gets even worse. All right. I'd like to toss out there that I, I, I wish there'd be, I, I will have some more recognition from these kids because uh, I don't know that we do enough recognition of any academic related kind of rec awards or whatever. Yeah. Um, I, I think that, that's something I'd like to see us do more of. Yep, uh, and I, I think we absolutely should have them come back and, and present or even give us a demonstration if they have. That'd be, that'd be really that, nice. We would really enjoy that. Yep. And, uh, yeah. uh, we also have some others that we've been talking about recognizing um, others who've done done well in their respective uh, clubs and activities. So yes. we want to make sure we recognize them as well. Spring break, not the time to do that. But <laughs> Hope Central puts this on the front page. Pardon? So Hope Central puts this on the front page. Yes, oh, yes. And we're eager to put sports on the front. But I'd like <laughs> to see uh, academic things. Uh, you know, I, I totally agree with you on that. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, before so. we vote on this, um, <clears throat> page three, it looks like, is REMC chipping in on some of the expenses? Um, if, if needed, yes. If needed. These are the proposals, and we got this late in the day, and I didn't want to miss the opportunity, sure. so those are yep. numbers that we're all drilling down on. Okay. That's fine. I was just, REMC always is willing to help. Especially Absolutely. students. So they've yes, been they're a right. huge, huge advocate for Rochester schools. Yep. So That's how many what Title Six is. Title Four. Title Four. Or Title, title Four. Who dislikes it? Title Four is a, a grant that we that we utilize for Joel's programs. Um, that I utilize that for the, the go kart and a lot of the tooling, and I think there's some simulation uh, stuff with computers that, they, that, that, he, that he dives into. Um, I don't know that, I mean, I know it from my side, so I don't know it from his side, but it sounds kind of interesting to me. And, uh, but I, obviously, it just allows him to do a lot more with those kids, I think, than he would otherwise grant funding, so. Yeah, well, that's great. And I think that they race every year, and that part of that grant also, utilizes to pay the entry fees and fuel involved, whatever. So, okay. and I did hear Tom about that is pretty competitive. So, it'll be it'll be amazing. I, I hope they have great things to say when they get back. Yeah. Um, so, all those in favor of the overnight fee over the out of state field trip to the World Robotics uh, <coughs> finals. Yes. Okay, and motion carries seven to zero. All right, now we go to donations. Sorry. Let's have to skip over the stuff that's not Donations. Uh, to Columbia Elementary, $150, money for students to purchase at Book Fair from Hope and Ryan Shally. Thank you, Hope and Ryan, that's outstanding. Um, Real Elementary, $200 for student needs, Beacon Credit Union. Um, RHS, $100 for prom from Valerie Good. Thank you, Valerie. Uh, thank you, Beacon Credit Union, for the riddle uh, funding. RCSC, $90 memorial donation for Polly Clark from Rachel Wyatt. And uh, again, thank you to uh, Polly's family. And uh, it's 
it's nice uh, again even even on a spring break month we get donations that are meaningful and help our students move forward so um, any questions about any of the donations i will entertain a motion then please to uh accept donations as presented so moved thank you ethan all right, Jamie Casey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. Yes. Thank you, Kyle. Motion carries seven to zero. And now to the personnel report. Um, recommendations from Columbia Air Elementary. Ruby Henning, long-term sub for Title I in kindergarten. A daily rate of $140. <clears throat> Columbia Elementary Spring Intercession, Ashley Shuck, Instructional Assistant at her hourly rate. RHS Intercession, Ken Hughes, Math Teacher at his hourly rate. Deb Wolford, Math Teacher, hourly rate. Bryn Wilson, English Language Arts Teacher, hourly rate. Lucy Hernandez, ELA Teacher, hourly rate. Food Service, Annalise Du Bois, Food Service, Cashier RHS, hourly rate of $14.01. Athletic recommendations. Kyle Rensberger, volunteer softball coach. Rachel Enyer, volunteer softball coach. Resignation. Jackie Wynn, Riddle IA, effective March 9th, 2023. FMLA, Jenny Bauman, intermittent family member. Mindy Carroll, intermittent family member. Wendy Zent. March 16, 2023 to approximately April 1st, 2023 with restrictions and intermittent for, uh, for follow-up appointments. Brittany Meyer, 3-10-23 to 4-19-23 and I believe that's it. Any questions? I would uh, entertain um, that we, uh, a motion to approve the personnel report as read. I move that we approve the personnel report with the exception of Kyle Rensberger so that we can vote separately, so he can vote on all of the rest. Um, so all of the personnel report except for Kyle Rensberger. Second. Okay. All those in favor of approving the uh, personnel report with the exception of Kyle Rensberger's um, recommendation? Yes. Motion carries seven to zero. Now we have to have a long discussion, or X, yes, seven to zero. Now I've got a long discussion on whether or not we're going to let Kyle Rensberger on the athletic field. Okay. Uh, then we will pull Kyle Rensberger out, and uh, Kyle has, uh, will be a uh, volunteer uh, softball coach should we approve his uh, recommendation. So moved. Okay. Second. Was that you, Stephen? Yes. Right? Drives all the most people. Please say your name. And who second that? Casey, thank you. I just prefer in third person. Ethan yes. moves. <laughs> Casey moves. All right. All those in favor? Motion carries six to zero with one abstention. All righty. And that does it for this. Is, you said it would be quick and easy. Um, so we have the superintendent's report. Well, ask. I believe that Oscar, Oscar, would you like to begin? And do you also have Cassie's report as well? I know she was just reading. I have Cassie's. You have Cassie's. Yeah. Thank you. So, Oscar, if you'd like to give yours, and then we'll move to Luke uh, to cover for Cassie and Riddle. Yeah. So currently, we are in spring break with spring intercession this week. We had almost 50 kids today at spring intercession, which is a large number for spring break. Um, on the 25th, we have the MFA auction. On the 27th, we have the Merrill debates. The 29th, um, we'll be meeting with the seniors during homeroom, which is a big day for them as we start that process looking towards walking across the stage. Um, also on the 29th, we're doing ASVAB testing for some of our sophomores and juniors. We have National Honor Society inductions on the 29th. Uh, report cards go home on the 29th. 29th is a busy day. Uh, the 31st, we are doing 8th grade vision screenings. April 4th, we're giving the ACT. April 7th, uh, due to Mrs. Vance calling off school one day, we get to come to school. <laughs> <laughs> On the uh, 12th, our FCYLA um, is 
uh, having a competition on the 14th and 15th of April. That is the Wizard of Oz musical. Get your tickets early because, as you said, there's 33 munchkins, I believe. And you know their grandparents are going to be buying up the tickets. <laughs> um, and then I Learn will start for us that first week of May. And the Biology ECA will be at the same time. And I believe we'll have another board meeting before anything else happens for us. And uh, I missed one, March 17th, our JAG State competition takes place and our students will be going there. Or I guess that's already happened. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, that's why I missed it. That's what we have going on for the month of March, beginning of April. Thank you, Oscar. Mm -hmm. Any questions for Mr. Bernanke, if you could cover Cassie's first with the middle school students. Yes, will do. So from Mrs. Murphy, she says there are great things happened at RMS the last day before spring break. They had their PBIS day. That went very well, as did their talent show. The shout out to their wrestling team won conference this past Saturday for the fourth straight year. So congrats to them. Uh, they had an 85% attendance rate for intercession today and invited a total of 51. They're working on some iLearn schedules to make sure everyone is ready to go when we return. And before iLearn, we were taking the entire school to Logan's Fort Mary Max to see the new Mario movie and planning an entire day around cross-curriculum projects to go with that as a boost into iLearn. That will be on Friday, April 7th. All three grade levels have planned a field trip to a local college this year. Fifth grade's going to Grace. Sixth grade will go to Ivy Tech Kokomo and seventh grade's going to Manchester. And uh, just appreciate the continued support, she says. And then from Riddle, we wrapped up our uh, I Read right before spring break. So happy to get that done. And under our belts, all our second and third grade students did a fantastic job. So really proud of all of them and all of our teachers. Uh, worked really, really hard on that. And we've got our one school, one book coming up. I know we've been talking about that a lot. And our launch will be one week from today. Super pumped. Um, shout out to our teachers as well. I went into the building today. Second grade hallway already looks amazing. I know fourth grade uh, coming in tomorrow to decorate. And I didn't get a chance to go around to third grade yet, but I, it's just really cool. It grows every single year. And this year it seems to be the biggest yet. So I'm just really excited about that. So that's what we got going on. Uh, just real quick, Mr. Bernanke. Yes. Didn't um, your grades, uh, well, second, third, and fourth, they come up with a large sum of money with Beacon Credit Union, correct? Yes. So we partnered with Beacon Credit Union the month of February um, to do Penny Wars within our building um, to raise money for the, uh, I think it was for the American Heart. No, it was, it was Riley's, Riley's Children's Hospital. Sorry, that was another fundraiser. So Penny Wars with Beacon Credit Union, they, they contacted us to do that. And our kids in the month of February, so each class had their own little pail and they donated change in there and they bring them down every week. And over the month of February, they raised over $3,000 for, for uh, Riley's Children's Hospital. It was pretty amazing to, to see all of that and the, the buckets come down and to talk about. And they, uh, each grade level, the one class was awarded from Beacon uh, a pizza party. So that went over very well. So they did a great job. Great job. Awesome. Good call. Mm -hmm. um, a couple things that we just recently have had. Uh, fire on uh, the Friday right before break, we did uh, Zebra Zone with our uh, our whole. It's different now because we have preschool kids in there. And we have daycare kids that actually get to come hang out at, pre at uh, Zebra Zone. So it's really pretty cool. But we had Zebra Zone. Um, we do that every month. For those of you not aware of it. Uh, focuses in on a uh, monthly characteristic that we, um, throughout the, the month, encourage teachers and parents and students to uh, learn about that characteristic trait and, and uh, show it. So um, we have 15 kids that we're taking uh, the week we get back next week to the Elemental Art Studio uptown. These are kids that receive star cards um, and were drawn out of our buckets, part of our PBIS program at Columbia. Um, we take them up to uh, the Elemental Arts Studio and uh, they get an opportunity to create a piece of art, get it fired, and then we'll get it picked up for them and they get to take it home. It's really cool. They enjoy it. Um, and again, one of those things that uh, we try to support and develop those relationships with our local businesses and um, entities that we've got. 
um, some of the um, upcoming things that we've got going on besides that. Um, I want to mention just a, a shout out to Brenda McLean. Um, one thing that we do uh, quite a bit of at this time of year besides case conferences are MTSS meetings, which are our multi-tier support um, interventions for our kids. And um, we have those meetings once a week, uh, quite a few of them in April and May. And uh, those are focusing in on um, students that teachers have brought to the MTSS team. Um, there's others involved besides Brenda, but she kind of heads that up. She sets up the meetings. Um, she uh, compiles all of the paperwork and the, and the uh, <coughs> information on the student. And it's just very helpful um, in making sure that kids do not fall through the cracks, that they're receiving the supports that they need, um, and also looking forward um, and making sure that they have what they need um, you know, down the road. So uh, it's just an early intervention process. And um, I've mentioned that as upcoming stuff because we've been doing it all year, but it gets pretty busy uh, right now uh, as the year kind of starts winding down and, uh, and we have to make some decisions on certain things. So um, she does a great job, Brenda does with that, and um, we couldn't do without her. Uh, we're still gonna be doing our star card. Uh, this has uh, been approved for our Cubs baseball game up in South Bend. We have set a 350 uh, goal for star cards between the time that we get back and fill that game. So our goal is to try to get 350 recognitions of positive behavior uh, in our building. And if we reach that, then we're gonna take those uh, first and um, kind kindergarten and first grade students to uh, that ball game. And they were pretty excited when we announced that on uh, Friday at Zebra Zone. So other than that, we do, we've got an intercession going on. Um, we had a good turnout. We didn't have 50 like the high school who did. We had about 20, um, but that's pretty good for kindergarten and first grade. And um, we, uh, we're rolling with that. So we will be go uh, bowling on Wednesday as a enrichment that we have set up during all of our breaks. We set up those, uh, those enrichments and um, Riddle and Columbia have, I mentioned this before, two separate times set up because we had such a good response and um, trying to get as many kids as we can that opportunity. So we'll be bowling on Wednesday. That's all I got. What's that? Kindergarten Roundup on the sixth. Yes, Kindergarten Roundup. Any other questions? Mike. Question: Luke, do you have all the money you need for? Um, did you get enough donations to cover your uh, one school, one book? Yes, the community has been amazing with that, and our kids doing their own fundraising. The ones are. Our, Parkman Optimist Bunch has done lemonade stand and things like that. But the fundraising really is year round for that as they're already fundraising for next year's. That's so right. It's already, we've already started that. Glad to hear it. Yep. Okay. If I may, just very quickly, I want to thank Mrs. Shally and her representation here tonight, but also right before break, um, I don't remember what if it was Wednesday or Thursday, had the opportunity to sit down with Mrs. Shally and our new Uniserve director, Stacy Kirk. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And one of the one of the hot topics that I know teachers are following and we're following as well um, is whether or not uh, discussions will continue, and that is an integral part of communication from principals to teachers, um, what's going on in the building, and just want to publicly reassure that no matter what happens, I think that superintendents need to continue open communications with teachers. It doesn't have to be in a house bill to, to have that happen. And so that was one of the major um, discussions we had when she was in and, and to the point that I emailed the administrative team today and we're setting up a meeting in June to look at what that looks like, whether it's the old agenda and how we're going to address it moving forward or what discussions will look like for Rochester schools and our teachers and administrators moving forward, no matter what comes out of the state house. So I want to thank you, Hope, for your continued support and communication and setting up that meeting and want to well, publicly state that. that. Stacy was glad to meet you and she and Janice spent a lot of time talking about the common um, legislators they knew and have some, you know, side comments to share about this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to thank the board uh, last week 
for vacation time when, when I can decompress, the administrators get to decompress as well. So thank you for that time. It was, it was great to get away and, um, and have that family time. So thank you for that. And Jason down in the same state, so he was sending me to all the good places there in, uh, in Alabama. So not quite an Alabama fan yet, but it was, it was a nice break. So. Did you go to, did you drive or fly? We drove. Did you go to Bucky's? We did. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to Bucky's. We did. We did. It's, it's an adventure. Yeah, all it's a, it was. It so. I think I'm going to drive down to Bucky's. Just Bucky's. Just, let me know. Just, <laughs> just, just, just for the day. Well, let me know. We'll just put top down the convertible. I'll take it down. Um, uh, anything else, Jim? No, that's all I Well, it was a very quiet and um, weak uh, but I wanted you to know that um, somebody, one of the kids that's in intercession had an amazing day today and thought it was just the best thing ever. So um, she said, and it was over really quick. So that's <laughs> fine, and I got to go home with Grandma. So there we go. Um, but we, we appreciate all you do, and the fact that you're, I know you're here, and it's spring break, and you should be vacationing, or at least chilling out with your family, and uh, you know, I know, uh, Everybody here works overtime, all the time, and uh, we appreciate it, and we appreciate all you do. Thank you. Anything else we're going to have? That's all I have. Well, with that and uh, all board members in agreement, we can adjourn. Casey motions. <laughs> Casey motions. <laughs> all in favor? All right. And have a great evening, Jason. folks. Jason.